Well, good day, Max here again. Welcome back to the shop. <laughs> I'm in my summer gear. It's been hot over here. We've been getting, we've got a, a week of um, 40, 41 degree temps. In the shop here, it's usually about six degrees cooler than the ambient temperature outside, so it's not too bad. Um, <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd slip this quick video in regarding threading. Now, I'll show you an alternate method if you're banged up in a situation where you cannot angle your compound slide around. It's just uh, another method. Um, it is a straight in-feed cutting method using the cross slide, but we also involve the compound slide. So we'll swing you down and we'll show you what we're going to do. So just for demonstration purposes, I have a piece of hollow bar in, in the lathe here and we've turned it down to two and three quarter inches. So we're going to cut a two and three quarter inch 12 TPI thread on this piece of bar here or piece of hollow bar. So that's what we're going to do and I'll show you the alternate method. So generally you'd angle the compound around to 29 or 29 and a half degrees and all your in feeds are done on your compound going in. So that puts most of the load and most of the cutting on the leading edge um, of your screw cutting tool. So the other alternate method is to leave the compound at 90 and you just go straight in feeds on your compound. That works fine, but once the, the pitch or the threads per inch of your thread start to get larger and larger, it puts a hell of a lot of load on the end of your tool and it's, it's, I wouldn't, it's not a method I would recommend when you're starting to get into the larger size threads. It, it, it leads to dramas through the excessive tool load. Um, you get a lot of flex and vibration and, and that sort of carry on. So here's an alternate method. So when I cut this thread, let's say for every, if I in feed in 20 thou, I'll advance my compound 10 thou. Or if I in feed in 10 thou, I'll advance my compound in 5 thou. So I'm advancing the compound 50% of the in feed of the lathe. And then that will put the lion's share of the tool pressure on the leading edge of the tool instead of on the whole face of the tool. And so the trailing edge will just be doing a light clean up. So then when you come to do your last few thou finishing cuts, you can, if you like, plunge straight in on, on the cross slide and not worry about the compound. But that's just for your last finishing clean up cuts. So we'll do our first cut to be a 20 thou deep straight plunge in cut on the cross slide. There on after, we'll just do 10 thou cuts on the cross slide and advance our compound slide 5 thou. Sorry, I bumped the camera there with my arm. I'll have to move you. Okay, we'll leave you there. Right, so that's our first initial 20 thou. So all of our end feeds now will be 10 thou on the compound for the next couple. And I will reduce that back to five and, and then we'll wind it down to a couple of thou. So our compound direction that way will be 50% of our in feed.
Now, I might just get my phone over and we'll take a, a close-up shot of the next cut and you'll get a clear picture of how the chip is coming off the tool. Then a quick rub of the file. Nice.
Let's get a close up of the thread. One thing I will point out, it is a, a risky method to screw cut. So it's not really for beginner machinists. Um, for the, this is, the more experienced will, will know this method and have it down pat if they do it all the time. But it's not a method that I use frequently, but it's just another one of those things you have up your sleeve to overcome uh, problems. So, you know, if, if you get it wrong, what the result will be, you'll overcut the width of your thread and your root of your thread won't be deep enough. I'll show you with a pitch gauge. So if you messed up on your compound feeds, you'll have, you'd have a gap at the bottom at the root of the thread where the uh, thread gauge sits in. Yeah, so that's just a, another method uh, that we have up our sleeves to overcome any issues with screw cutting problems arise. So we use different methods to get the same result. Probably find a lot of people that do hydraulic cylinders may use that method um, quite a lot. It saves all the mucking around, adjusting the compound. You, like, from what I gather here in Australia, and how I was brought up. We normally leave our compound angled parallel with the bed. Um, it's more, I've seen the American style to, to leave it angled around. So whether that's, so it remains set up for screw cutting or it's to give them extra clearance for the tail stock, either or. But um, yeah, so yeah, just an, <laughs> I thought I'd slip this one in, so. Um, and that is a common thread too, 12 TPI, 2 and 3 quarter inch. Right. Common as anything. So. Anyway, cheers, thanks for watching and uh, probably see us in the next video.